how weird is it for you to have had a relationship with that guy for all these years making all these films and now see what he's become it's um it's sad it's sad he it was like you know he wasn't like he wasn't just this guy who financed my movies he was you know kind of like a father figure i mean he was kind of a fucked up father figure but that's most people's fucking father. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he was a, a fucked up father figure, but he was like, you know, he was involved in, you know, uh, my professional life for like a long, long time. So it's like, it's, you know, I think it's sad. Oh, it's definitely sad. It's just, it's surreal though too, right? Yeah. Because we've never mm-hmm. seen, other than Bill Cosby, we've never seen like a fall like this before. Mm-hmm. It's so strange. Yeah, well, you know, one of the things is funny, like I said an interview with the, with, the, with the two women that cracked the case on the New York Times. I, I did a talk with them during that time. I don't really talk about it that much afterwards because, like, well, I did it with them and that's enough. But um, one of the things I ended up, like, saying is, well, I wish I had done more um, during the time. And a lot of people, like, read a lot of what that could possibly mean. Right. Well, actually, what it means is I wish I had talked to the guy. <laughs> I wish I had sat him down and had the uncomfortable conversation. I didn't know about any rapes or anything like that. I just, you know, but I, I knew he was, you know, I, I, like I chalked it up to the boss chasing the secretary around the desk you know, as if that's okay. But I mean, that's how I, right. that's how I kind of looked at it. You know, he was, you know, making unwanted advances. That's how I looked at it. But uh, I wish I talked to him. I wish I had sat him down and go, Harvey, you, you can't do this. You're going to fuck up everything. Do you think that no one talked to him and maybe that was how he got so yeah. completely out of control? Yeah, maybe his brother Bob. Maybe, but I, you know, uh, um, uh, I, no, I don't think anybody talked to him about it. And the thing about it is everybody who was in his orbit knew about it. There's nobody who said they didn't know that didn't know. Mm. If you were in his orbit, and that includes all the big actors who he palled around with, like they all knew. They all knew. They didn't know any. Probably they didn't know anything about rapes, but they had heard. Yeah, they had heard things. They had heard. They had heard about him just, you know, uh, uh, you know, putting the bite on somebody in a limo or something. The the story of the rich, powerful producer and the actress who wants to be in films is mm-hmm. a story that's as old as film itself. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just one of those stories that goes on. I mean, it's it was almost like, I mean, I'm, I don't really have a history in film, but mm-hmm. from what it's been explained to me, that's always what it's been like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. I they gave me a tour of Shaw Brothers Studios, and I'm taking a tour of Shaw Brothers Studios, and they take me into the screening room, and then like, okay, well, okay, see that chair in the back there that was reserved for the for the owner of the studio, Run Run Shaw. That's where he sat, and in the back room is a little bed. <laughs> And that's reserved for where Run Run Shaw took the starlets. Really? Yeah. And it was all. <laughs> wow. 